this video clip will start out by loading QCAD for the first time. We'll double click the icon and the first time it wants to know your default units. So for these demonstrations we're going to use inch. So select inch and English is the language for the training course. So click OK. QCAD loads up and this is the default well, QCAD we have screen. have a toolbar panel. On the right hand side we have a list panel. Notice right now it's talking about layer list. You'll find out later that we have multiple layers for the same drawing. The bottom here we have the command line panel and below that we have what's called the status line. The next thing I want to do is because my screen is small I can't afford all this real estate here for this command line. So what you can do is you can take the command line and size it down, drag it up here and we'll put it right in there. That's called docking. Docking. One of the realities of the CAD world is that you can spend a thousand dollars for software which gives you many more custom tools or you can spend thirty three dollars for the software and use your brain just a couple of minutes each day and get the same job done. So let's take a look at some situations which at first appear impossible. But they certainly are not impossible first project is draw a circle centered on a rectangle. So we'll draw a rectangle and we'll snap the grids. And you notice there's no grid at the middle of this rectangle. I want to place a circle so that the center of the circle is at the center of the rectangle. But I don't have a center of rectangle tool. Boo hoo, poor me. Here's what we do draw a line, we connect it to the centers of the two ends of the rectangle. It's that simple. Now we go ahead and pick up our circle. We use this circle type here. We're going to snap it to the centers of this particular line right here. And we just delete the temporary line. And we just now created a circle which is exactly centered on the center of this rectangle.